GPB is a German project funded by the uh, Ministry of Education and uh, Research in uh, Germany. It's called the Collaboration Cluster for Photovoltaic Silicon Material Characterization. And the idea is to establish a formal presence in Australia from Front of ESA and team up with uh, the well-known universities, Australian National University in Canberra and the University of New South Wales in Sydney. Australia is a very interesting place for us mainly because of the expertise we uh, have in those two universities. We had a good uh, relation to uh, those before, but now have the opportunity to really collaborate uh, in a in more intense manner, which allows us to share labs, to share expertise, and to increase speed and quality uh, in resolving uh, problems for the photovoltaic industry. I guess mostly to learn because the, the mindset and the ideas are different and I guess in each group they are different and yeah you can try other ways, you can try other methods. CCPV gives us a great opportunity to really access uh, these, uh, these machines and the knowledge uh, that, that is present at the, at the other institutes because uh, what we normally would do is we, we extend or we exchange some emails and uh, send samples and ask, hey, could you please uh, measure on such a sample? But uh, CCPV gives us the opportunity to, to, to actually go there, stay for the, the amount of time that, that's necessary to really understand a measurement tool. For example, FIACRE has, has just really uh, focused on one measurement tool for three weeks and that's something that you can way better or that, that you can do with such a project that you couldn't do otherwise, uh, that's really helpful uh, with such complicated topics that we're dealing with. So up to now we have about seven papers uh, published and there are more to come, um, which in the, uh, with respect to the rather short amount of time is, is very encouraging for us. We had an invited talk at an important Japanese international conference on silicon material characterization to present our results which we already have in CCPV. The next steps for us is to make a stable uh, cooperation which lasts uh, also for the long term after the uh, uh, stopping of the first phase of the project we have now. So our aim is to get to the second phase of the project and to continue uh, this very promising uh, collaboration in a more intense manner to be able to uh, after that to have a construction uh, of that virtual lab and collaboration which enables us to go uh, next steps without further uh, subsidies. in the field, uh, actually it is uh, always good to have more collaboration with other institutes and the having get the opportunity to work with a uh, lot of uh, laboratories in, and other universities and institutes and also get to know about senior researchers in my field. Yeah, that's a really good opportunity, especially for new, new researchers. I try to answer big research question where we try to find out what is limiting high efficiency cells and um, as one institute alone I don't think we can do it uh, by ourselves we need to have frameworks or, or uh, multiple institutes working together to answer those big questions and I think uh, with Fraunhofer this is just the right uh, way for us uh, we have um, uh, complementary expertise and, and equipment and, and aligned research goals so I think that was really good for me so uh, what we need now is uh, a continuous support for uh, the second phase of the project such that we can just finalize the uh, starting activities we had so far. So we are currently um, preparing uh, a more formal agreement between the universities in order to get a better frame uh, which shall also ensure uh, fruitful uh, collaboration in the future. And for that we need uh, the uh, support, the continuing support from BMBF uh, to realize that, to be able to put our personal effort into that to stabilize and to uh, well, solidify uh, this uh, specific collaboration project.